Clipboard finally works like a clipboard. It seems like Apple wants to get rid of all of these external applications. Anyway, let me show you how to work with new inbuilt Mac Clipboard. If I select any portion of the text and press Command C to copy, it will be placed in the temporary storage area, which is called Clipboard. It's not part of the text editor at all. It's inbuilt right in Finder, or should I say Spotlight. The clipboard redesign allows you to hold multiple items at a time, which is probably the biggest difference from last year. So before I show you where to find it, let's copy more things. Maybe this title, number and so on. And I can even copy the whole document as well. But now let's open up Spotlight using the magnifier icon in the menu bar and pressing on the last button, which will take you into clipboard. But if you plan to be using this feature often, then I think it's worth learning the keyboard shortcut to speed up the whole process. So let's close it and start over. I can press command space on my keyboard to open Spotlight Search and then another shortcut command 4 that will take you straight away into the clipboard as well. Here you can see your full clipboard history, all of the items I have copied before. And here I can select things, I can use the arrows to navigate through and even search the clipboard. I don't know how far it goes, but it seems that it can remember quite a lot of things, at least if they are copied in a short period of time, because it tends to often reset itself. I don't really know if it's every 24 hours when you restart the computer, or what's the trigger, so be aware of that. It is not like a history on Safari, where you can reopen pages which you have visited years ago. It is still in early stages of development, so maybe future updates will change that. But at least you have a full control over the items you can see here. If there is something I don't need anymore, I can right click it and delete it. So this way I can create just a list of things I need to copy right now. And anytime I can fully clear the whole history if I want to start over. So how can I use this to my advantage? Let me give you a few examples. First. For example, when I'm making a research, maybe researching topic for my next YouTube video or writing an article on the website and I want to include some external links. I don't need to flip many times between the tabs on Safari and my document. I can copy them all straight away and have all the links quickly accessible from the clipboard whenever I want to paste them in the article. Same way, maybe I can copy multiple images on the web, so I don't need to be coming to the website every time. I need a new image. Another example is when you need to write a lot of emails and communicate with a lot of people during the day. In this case, you can pin in clipboard frequent greetings, disclaimers or email addresses for quick reuse. You can even use the clipboard for social media posting. You can store there some hashtags, promotional text or any other posting templates for faster sharing. You can be really creative here. So I hope that this video gave you some inspiration on how to more effectively use clipboard on the Mac. And I would love to hear from you the way how you use the clipboard, so I can also learn something new. Anyway, there are quite a lot of new features in macOS Tahoe. So I will see you in the next video with some other extra tips.